Hey guys, how's it going? It's Joel and Jamie here from Rails Revolution. Now, since you guys liked our video on repeaters, today we're doing redstone torches, all the basics. So, first of all, this is a redstone torch. Um, to make it, all you need to do is get a crafting bench. Uh, you don't even need a crafting bench, you can really do this in your inventory. Um, to do it, you just need a stick and a piece of redstone, and if you didn't know, a stick's just two wooden planks on top of each other like that. So get those two items, chuck them in the crafting bench, put the redstone, uh, put the stick on the bottom and the redstone on the top, grab the redstone torch, and you're done. So now let's move on to talk a little about the physics. Alright guys, so now we're just on to the physics of it. As you can see here, we have a redstone torch with redstone dust trailing out on either side of it. Now as you can see, the redstone pulse given out by the torch will travel 15 blocks of redstone dust, getting darker each block, until it eventually dies out. As well as this, all blocks, as you can see with these redstone lamps, all blocks adjacent to the redstone torch will be powered other than the block it's placed on, and the block directly above the redstone torch will become a powered block itself, and thus powering all the blocks around it. Alright guys, another use for resonant torches are inverters. Now as you can see with this, no signal goes in. Um, it goes into the inverter, which is just a block with a resonant torch on the other side of it. And then a signal comes out. Um, now if we flick the lever, it inverts it again. So now a signal goes in, it goes into the inverter and no signal comes out. So yeah, inverter and it has various uses. For instance, here uh, we have a piston door um, that will get activated when we push this button. Normally, if we didn't have the inverter on the other side, the piston would always be open and only shut when you press the button. So yeah, that's inverters. Alright guys, so what we're showing you now is just how to transport a redstone pulse vertically. So as you can see with this tower here, we have a redstone torch on top of a solid block. Now above that we have another solid block and, as we said before, this solid block is now powered. Now on top of that we have a redstone torch, but as the block underneath is powered it's being inverted, as we showed you before, and above that we have a res uh, redstone torch on a block, and above that etc etc, until at the top we have a redstone lamp. Now when I pull this lever, it inverts it, transporting the pulse vertically. So Joel, if you'd like to be my lovely assistant and just show this demonstration over here, stand on that pressure plate if you will. Sure. And that's how we invert redstone vertically. Alright guys, so another use for resonant torches is... Uh, <coughs> Jamie's slowly dying going. in the background. You so. could keep going! <laughs> 